Hi. All right, we're rolling, I guess. Yo, bomb bomb guys, what's going on? I'm here to uh, do an update video. You know, fully graduated from high school, 4.0, above 4.0, you know. Yeah, but I just want to talk about some things like what Krishno Productions is about. And like, what, what was the purpose of making all these videos, you know? And I guess you can call this like a podcast. I guess we'll call it the the Row Show. I don't even know. That's when it started, like sixth, seventh grade, and then somewhat um, freshman year, and then it just fell fell off from there, buddy. You know, look at the uploads. Just look at the freaking. But I mean, we got two hundred subscribers. That's so cool. You know, I never thought. We would have that much. It's a lot, dude. Maybe one day, 1K, but for real. Like, the purpose of Christian Productions, I always grew up watching, like, YouTubers when I was young. And me and my cousin, we wanted to go viral. That's, that's the truth. We wanted to go viral. We wanted to be popular and be famous. And we really thought we are going to make it. Yeah, so, like... When we were young, middle school, we always like try to make videos and grind it out. We thought we we're gonna not go to college. I li I seriously thought I'm not gonna go to college. I thought we we're gonna be popular like freshman year, and they have like a million subs. But uh, I mean, that's that's the dreams. That's the crazy dreams that I had. But we slowed down, and now like I'd even know what I want to do until like last summer. Throughout middle school and high school, like all I wanted to do was make YouTube videos. It was like, that was my goal for the whole high school. But I mean, I did my grades, you know, got schoolwork done. I wasn't a bad student or anything, you know? But yeah, YouTube was really fun. And I hope I can keep doing it We're like, we're gonna hit 16. That's the golden age. We're gonna get cars. And we're just gonna drive anywhere we want. Just travel to the park, Target, college campuses to mess around with people. Like, we thought we're gonna do overnight challenges. Buddy, my parents are strict as frick. I don't know how I got the idea of staying overnight at Target. But I guess so. I can't even sleep over. Like, buddy, like, what? <clears throat> but yeah, we're gonna do, like, if you guys know, like, the 24-hour challenges, like, that's what we're, we're gonna plan to do. But the main idea of this video, you know, we're first-gen... Wait, 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 we're first-gen Asian Americans, right? So let me ask you this. You know your grand grandparents, right? They got the Asian accent, okay? What, grandma? Do you know that's Asian, right? She has a perfect English accent. Most, actually all, all of them, they, they have, they don't understand our generation. You know, they don't understand how we act, like, like how we talk, social media, they don't get that. I'm saying, so when we grow up to be grandparents, or when we become adults, Vietnamese culture, will kind of be watered down from all the way from Vietnam to come here like we're still practicing our like Vietnamese tradition and stuff but in my opinion I think when I grow up to be a, a parent like, I feel like my kids are just gonna talk English and I feel like that's gonna be the same way with a lot of people because I don't think as us Asian Americans we talk a lot of English, so we're not going to enforce it on our kids as much. But if you do, I respect it, you know? I'm not saying no one's going to enforce it. I'm just saying that's probably what's going to happen with a lot of us. Because we're in America. This sounds so racist. Buddy, buddy, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Uh, look, so when our grandparents go 
and the rest of the family goes, our kids, or even our grandkids, they won't have the grandma or the grandpa who's going to ask them, oh, what's, oh, what's this? Or, oh, what is that? Because we're going to know. We're going to know because we grew up in America. And so. So, you know, in our generation, these kids, right? These young old kids, these old Asian cousins, right? They already got their own phones and stuff. Like the technology is just gonna keep going and going. And it's low key true that we are addicted to our phones. And like, that's not good. Now, you go to a party, what do you see? You see phones, right? You see, you see kids doing this. You see this, you see this. Ah. TikTok, Instagram shorts, no real. Reels, YouTube shorts, like, they just be like this. They don't eat. They don't eat or anything. Roblox. Roblox. You think Roblox is better than Tag? Nah. Nah, it's not. It's not. And Capture the Flag? Bro, like, we used to make our own games. Like, anything we're bored, we would just work together and talk to each other and just have fun. Just have real fun. But now it's just like, uh. La, 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 la. It's like, it's lame. It's like, opinion, because your opinion doesn't matter right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I grow up, dude. I'm not fluent in Vietnamese, so most likely my kid's gonna speak English. But if Shorty, if my Shorty, my wife, she knows that fluent Vietnamese, hey, hey, she can teach him. Him. Or her. But I want a boy, so him. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if my future kids are not. I'm, I'm sorry you're watching this. Um, this is dope. But like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, she can teach him. You know, I'm a fine. I might go to Vietnam. You know, get a get a Vietnamese. Shorty over there. Go back to USA. We're good. We're good, bro. We're good. We're good. I think. I think. I think we're good. But you know, 